garbage truck barely missed two deli workers when it slammed into a storefront. Still, the wild crash hurt several people. As CBS News' Weijia Jang reports, it also shut down business indefinitely for one Brooklyn family. When this garbage truck slammed into the building on the corner of Bedford and DeKalb Avenues in Bed-Stuy, I have boomer. That's it. Many people say it felt like an earthquake. It's like the whole building was shaking. Fawaz Hamoud's family runs the deli on the first floor. They live in the apartments on the second and third floors. The shaken 12-year-old among seven people injured. Then I cannot breathe because I was scared like before. Then they got me to the hospital. Police say just after 2 a.m., the garbage truck and this black car collided. The truck driver lost control and ended up inside the deli. It's a very, very big accident. He was driving real, real fast. Salah Abdul was behind the counter at the time, about a few feet away from the front tires. His arm is in a sling, sprained but not broken. I don't sleep, I'm tired now. Incredibly, none of the injuries were serious. I'm hoping that everybody's okay. The family has operated the deli for over 30 years. That's the only place that we make a living out of. And got a lot of work to do. Abdul Salah is worried about paying the bills, but says it could be worse. So blessed, like nothing happened to everybody. That's the matter. Everything else will be fixed either sooner or later. Probably later, looking at the extensive damage, better than never. The city's Department of Buildings will determine if this one is structurally safe and when the family can start rebuilding their business and home. Reporting in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News.